the one thing you can't take from me. Have you ever told strangers that your sister's son is yours? Now on Tyra. When I think of sisters, I think of one of the strongest bonds possible between women. I have a brother, he's like seven years older than me, and I love my brother, but I've always wanted a sister, a big sister or a little sister. And let's, let's you know, talk about some of the most famous sisters of our time, um, Venus and Serena Williams. No matter how fiercely they compete on that tennis court, and they compete fiercely, nothing can change their love for each other. And I remember Venus once said that I want to make sure Serena has everything, even if I don't have anything. I love her too much. Now those are really, really powerful words, but you wouldn't hear them spoken by the sisters who will be confronting each other on our show today. With me now is Taryn, and she says although she and her identical twin sister are mirror images of each other, they're more like strangers. So tell me how was it like growing up with this sister who you look exactly alike but don't feel a true connection to? Um, you know, well, Tyra, I was born first, but I always have felt second best. I, you know, felt as if I wasn't the pretty one. She always was the bossy one. She had to have everything her way. Um, you know, I felt as if I never compared to her. Mm -hmm. And then tell me about your, your high school crush. You had a high school crush, both of you guys. Um, yes, I really liked this one guy, and I, I didn't really date much in high school. And um, it really hurts. Sorry. Okay. Um, okay. And she went after him. She wanted him. And he wanted her because she was a cheerleader. I mm -hmm. played soccer. You know, and... And there was other instances where people would come up to me and say, you know, Taryn, your sister's getting really pretty. And I thought, you know what, we're identical twins. Why aren't I getting really pretty just as much as her? Mm -hmm. And it, it really hurt. I felt as if I was always singing my song. It's okay. Here. <laughs> it's funny because I used to have a friend. You're making me cry because you're Sorry. so emotional. It's okay. It's okay. I had a friend that if I, when I was in high school, if I liked a guy, she would like totally jump for him. And that hurt me because it was supposed to be my best friend. I, can, I can't even imagine because I don't have a sister, but having a bond that's way closer than just friends and something like that happening. So I can understand why this hurts you so, so much. I want you to um, tell me about in college, there was a boy that you, you saw that you guys, again, bo both liked in yeah, college. Yeah, um, he, he turned out to be my son's father. <laughs> um, and we were at a dance club at UNC Greensboro and you know I really liked him and Heather started going up to dancing with him and flirting with him and you know she had a boyfriend at the time who became her husband um, but this was just innocent fun and she came up to me and said you know what Taryn you can have him so I got the sloppy seconds you know I wasn't good enough you know for him to want me he had her and she passed him off mm. it wasn't I wasn't good enough and so Again, you've always felt like sloppy seconds and you needed to get away from your sister. So you moved away. Where did you move? Yeah, I moved to Johnson City, Tennessee. Um, you know, there I started working. At, I did pageants. It made me feel beautiful because I wasn't living in the shadow anymore. I could be compared to strangers and, and that's OK, too. Mm -hmm. But being compared to your sister, it's just so hard, so much harder to deal with. Have you ever told her any of this? Mm -mm. I've haven't. always shied away from it. I, Okay, well, she's backstage, and um, she's probably hearing what you're saying. You ready to really tell her face-to-face? -face? Yeah. Okay, come on out, Heather. So, could you hear what your sister was saying when you were backstage? Yes. And did you hear, like, the pain in her voice? Yes. What does it make you uh, feel when you hear her saying these things? It is very heartfelt. I never knew she felt like this. Mm -hmm. You know, we're twins. I think we're both beautiful. I think we look the same. And I feel like she shouldn't feel like she's been in my shadow. And I hate that she has felt that way. Mm -hmm. And I want to do everything I can to, to make her not feel that way. And you have some issues as well. Tell me about your, your wedding day when your sister was your maid of honor. <laughs> On that day, my sister was very selfish. And I was in my wedding dress, ready to go down the aisle. And my sister wasn't there. My hair was not done. 
she was supposed to be there to do my hair, my maid of honor. So I walk outside in my wedding dress. My mother helped me with my hair. My sister pulls up with her boyfriend in his SUV. And I see her get out of the car. And she has everything she owns in the back of his SUV, packed up, ready to move to Tennessee. Never told, a, never told us that she was going to be moving and didn't care what we thought. And so you, you, did you come to be in the wedding late or did you come and say, I'm sorry, I can't be in your wedding and I'm leaving? I'm confused. No, I mean, I was, I didn't know that we actually came, moved all my stuff from UNC Greensboro. So I didn't know, I mean, I didn't really want to be late. Um, it just happened that way. And I didn't tell them at first I was leaving because you know what, who cares? I didn't care at the time. Mm -hmm. I was going on to, to live my life, to feel as if, you know, that I needed to be treated. I wanted to be happy, and I wasn't happy anymore. Right now, I see two victims on the couch, though. You know, I, I, don't, I don't see two innocent sisters. And I, I, I feel like you are trying to hurt your sister by not being there to do her hair and saying, oh, maybe traffic, or I had to pack. Do you think there was something in there? And it's a human nature. Revenge well, is human. You know, yeah, I was jealous, you know, she I'll was the first her. one, I was jealous, you were the first one getting married, you were the one, again, in the spotlight, I didn't, you know, I wanted to make it as if, you know, maybe me being there was important, I felt as if it didn't matter. Well, obviously it mattered, you know, you were my maid of honor, you're my twin sister, we've been so close, and then that day, I felt torn apart from you, I felt... You didn't care about me anymore, and you chose a guy over us. We, we used to be so close, best friends, and now I feel like we're just acquaintances, like mm -hmm. we're friends. There was something else, Heather, another spotlight day for you, right. where you felt Taryn uh, disappointed you again. Mm -hmm. What was that? Um, that was, the first wedding we had was our ceremony. My husband was going off to Iraq. He was there for a year, so I had a year to plan the wedding. I had my big day planned. My sister had called me a couple days before that. Let me know that she was pregnant. I was happy for her. A little nervous. I didn't know how she felt. And I was the only one that she had told. She comes down, and on my wedding day, again, you know, she tells my mom that she's pregnant. So I felt like she just stole the thunder from me. Mm. Twice in the spotlight, she, you know, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be about me, and yet it still turned into something about but her. But you don't understand. I was terrified, terrified to tell mom. And I thought that if I told her the day of your wedding day, that she wouldn't be mad. I was, I was 19 when I got pregnant. I was young. And I felt that even though it was such a happy day that when I told her that it wouldn't have mattered, she wouldn't have been upset with me. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> Up next, twin sisters struggling to find their own identity. That's my son. He's the one thing you can't take from me. He's the one thing I created that makes me different from us. And later, did you guys He's ever have anything intimate? Not even a kiss. 